the Secretary of Health and the State Center for Blood Transfusion, with the support of the Global Embassy of Activists for Peace, carried out the first international voluntary and altruistic blood donation congress based in Ciudad Juarez, Chihuahua, Mexico, from March 17th through the 19th. The encounter, which was attended by more than 450 people, aimed at physicians, chemists, blood bank professionals, social workers, health promoters, community leaders, and civil associations. Its main objective was to improve the planning, implementation, and evaluation of strategies for recruiting and capturing voluntary habitual and altruistic blood donors. During the first day, workshops were directed to staff promoting blood services, the first of which was in charge by Dr. Ana Lucia Cabezas, with a motivational talk of awareness about making contact with volunteer donors. Also, Dr. Robert Roig shared the strategies that, from their experience, can be implemented to increase the number of donors. When this donor is the most valuable asset of our blood bank, and if you're a promoter, you're convinced of what life-saving work is. Every donor, every person is a key to your keychain. You have to distribute the collections in a rational way. You have to increase the number of collections in large populations. You have to include new collection points. What are new collection points? Well, for us, a group that has more than 100 people is a point on which we can act. Sobre el que podemos actuar. Ruth Flores de Bermudez, through the presentation of the Educational Communication Program, PEC Life, pointed out the objectives and their implementation process in the family, community, educational, and organizational environment in Latin America. The institution elaborated an entire program, project, handbooks that are specific to each area, with activities, with strategies, with a step-by-step -step process so anyone who is trained as a facilitator to go to a home. The second day of activities was held at the Cibeles Convention Center with the master lectures that dealt with themes such as Where Are We Going, Panorama of Voluntary Donation in Mexico, and the experience of the United Blood Services for Latin America. We have to incorporate educational and marketing programs aimed at the population and create a social conscience so that the blood is waiting for the patient and not the patient who has the concern to go and get the blood that they are going to be transfused. We have to be ready daily. When September 11 happened in New York, the heroes sincerely and with great appreciation, all who came to donate were appreciated. But the heroes were those who had donated two days before, three days before, because the blood was there when it was needed. There were the heroes, and the altruistic donors are heroes every day. Ten invited panelists spoke from their experiences and contributions in the field of health, exposing the benefits and advances in the process of citizen awareness to increase the number of volunteer blood donors. GEAP was among the panelists, represented by its executive president, who presented the international program Life is in the Blood, donating the sap of life as a successful program. The results of the international campaign Life is in the Blood demonstrated the need to create adequate legal, educational, and communication tools to increase the numbers of effective donations of safe blood daily through the formation of a culture of voluntary, altruistic, and habitual donation of safe blood in humanity. Habitual de sangre segura en la humanidad. The third day of the encounter closed with a presentation of experiences by entities such as the Global Blood Fund and the Association of Donor Recruitment Professionals and the campaign analysis of the Altruistic Donation of Blood CETS 2006 to 2014. With the effort and awareness of governments, blood donation services, institutions, and voluntary donors, it is possible to achieve 100% of voluntary 
altruistic and habitual donations of safe blood. 